Mazda Miata has to be one of the most popular enthusiast sports cars of all time, and with good reason. On paper, the Miata is deceiving, but driving this NC Miata, you realize very quickly that it's the intangibles that make these cars so sought after. The third generation NC Miata is the heaviest of them, and the least favorite to many. But today, we're going to find out if it lives up to the Miata's reputation. I am sitting behind the wheel of a 2006 Miata, which is the first year of the third or NC generation. These cars are known to be low on power and slow in general, but the third generation received a respectable bump in horsepower which is super significant when you consider the weight. Under the hood, the NC Miata is powered by a 2.0 liter inline 4 engine, producing around 170 horsepower. While that may not sound like a lot by today's standards, it's more than enough to have a blast on your favorite back roads because this car only weighs 2,498 pounds. And what's nice about this 2 liter MZR engine is that it's insanely reliable. This car sees track usage like many Miatas and these engines will repeatedly rev to the moon with no complaint. The later NC models were built with stronger engine internals, but the 2006 is still perfectly fine if maintained and not intensely modified. The remaining drivetrain consists of a 6-speed manual transmission, an option for the grand touring trim that this car has. All other manual NCs come with a 5-speed. The transmission is a little sloppy, with some effort required to shift around, but overall it retains a nice feel. As for the clutch, it's a very light flywheel, making fast shifts and rev matching both easy to learn and to do correctly. Alright, now let's give the car a little power and see how it pulls. In truth, these cars are not fast in a straight line, but the bump from 140 to 170 horsepower for this generation really does make it moderately capable. It's not a chore to get up to speed, and although it's not fast, the acceleration is perfectly fine for what the Miata is. And speaking of, the point of this car isn't to find a dead straight road and put your right foot through the firewall. It's to find a twisty road or a racetrack where you can rip around turns in a car that will actually teach you how to drive. When you go to the track in a car that has 500 horsepower and traction control, it's hard to learn much because any mistakes that you make are cancelled out the minute you get to a straightaway. Not to mention the nuance of feeling what the car is telling you and knowing when you're at the grip limit can be lost, with electronic systems there to bail you out if the car wants to go sideways. Now although the NC has traction control in some models, this particular one doesn't, and is surprisingly easy to break loose, because of how little it weighs. The engineering behind this car makes it really easy to increase your driving skill, as it has a near 50-50 weight distribution making oversteer and rotation highly predictable and easy to correct. Well thought out suspension geometry provides immense grip, allowing the NC to keep up with much faster and more expensive cars through any kind of bend. Now admittedly, the stock suspension is very soft, and the sway bars are the thickness of a pasta doodle, meaning that there is a ton of body roll as a result. This does make it easy to tell what the car is doing, but certainly limits its capability. A set of stiff coilovers and sticky tires alone would make this car a track weapon. Truthfully, although that's all great, the best part of this car is the value that they provide. With the ND Miata generation already out, the NC has depreciated greatly, and I picked up this car for under $7,000. It's actually really easy to find one of these under $10,000, but very difficult to find a car that is as fun for the same price. There's just something intangible about a car of this weight that makes it so fun, and I didn't fully understand that until I bought one. I've always owned Camaros and Corvettes and wanted to understand what the buzz around these cars was, and after the first drive I immediately understood. It's just incredibly fun, and there's something so nice about how stress-free the experience is. 
At the track, if I break something or crash the car, the expense is minimal compared to just about anything else, and that gives you great peace of mind, making the entire experience a lot more pleasant. Lastly, I want to touch a little on the aesthetic of the NC. The NC Miata has a design that's well evolved and in my opinion has the most stance and road presence of any generation. It features the same classic lines and sleek profile that looks just as good as the day it was first introduced. There are small upgrades such as the bulged out fenders that give the car some width and flair. Lastly, the wheels are unique to the Grand Touring trim and I think that these are a good improvement over the base model. Moving on to the interior, the Miata's cockpit is all about the driving experience. The seats are snug and supportive, keeping you firmly in place during spirited driving. The leather finish was also an option from the Grand Touring trim and carries over from the seats and onto the doors. The dashboard is clean and uncluttered with a simple layout that puts all the important controls within easy reach. It's no nonsense and it's a design that's focused on the joy of driving. The gauge cluster also is super simple and fully analog, which is exactly what I personally would want. This car does come with factory rollover protection, but I installed a Blackbird Fabworks roll bar on this car for track use, as it's much higher and thicker than the stock option. As a whole, when you consider everything that the NC Miata has to offer, I would say it's just as good as any other Miata, and is one of the best value cars on the market right now, for around $10,000 it's pretty hard to find something that meets all of the same checkboxes that this car does and does so in such an efficient manner. So, is the NC Miata the perfect sports car for around $10,000? Well, I'm hard pressed to think of anything that's as fun, reliable, and versatile. With its iconic design, engaging driving experience, and stress-free ownership, it's no wonder that the Miata has such a dedicated fan base. If you're in the market for a fun and affordable sports car, you absolutely need to consider the NC Miata. This has been a car review with Running to Redline. Thanks for watching and have a great day.